Plague of Babies. Uh, this was Rob Hummel's first uh, first script that he came up with. Uh, I think he came up with the idea, and he wrote the entire thing. It was all his. And I remember he was very pleased when he came up with the idea. It was. It was a very good idea. It was a very cute idea with the whole baby, evil babies from outer space. It was great to use something so innocent, you know. Make it so uh, menacing and evil in the end. There's originally a whole, there's a whole another page or two of script in the beginning here of uh, Zim and Gerd doing things in the Voot Cruiser that got cut out. Really had nothing to do with the series or with the show. Uh, it was sort of busy work, and uh, we cut it out for time. That angry monkey again. It's pretty nice using some of these same uh, uh, props again and again. Sort of felt like there was a history and a functionality behind Zim. wonderful little dialogue. <laughs> I don't know what it was with Rob Hummel. To me, Rob Hummel always looked like a baby. He was, you know, this bald guy and sort of had a little baby face. And, uh, he found babies very distressing, I think. His whole thing with babies and breathing and everything, it was, it was kind of funny. I always, uh, kind of thought that it was Rob writing about himself, but <laughs> Maybe I'm just thinking too much into that situation. <laughs> A very nice establishing with the Nugums one to seven. And he just never changes, but this parents is so dumb. She just doesn't realize she's the perfect he's the perfect kid. Brian Konetsko did this storyboard, and some of these toys are toys that uh, I brought back from Tokyo for him and the crew, and uh, others are toys that he had. He had these Brian Konetsko uh, bunny dolls. He had his face on the, you know, printed onto the, the face of these bunny dolls that he had in his window. And he threw those in. So you see these little bunny rabbits back there with these human faces on them. That's, that's him. That's his dolls. And there are a lot of these little uh, Ultraman dolls. Talking about Ultraman again. Uh hanging around. I had bought tons of Ultraman T.Y. Beanie Babies for the crew from Japan. The Voot Cruiser base uh, sequences were very difficult to do. We had originally had, uh, you know, a couple shots of this place, I believe, before before this episode, but suddenly we had to design, you know, 50 or 60 new backgrounds. Our background crew was overweighted by this episode. So much was happening in it. So many backgrounds. There's so many environments that we went through it were different parts of this base. And they were all very complex. You know, you have tubes, you have perspectives, you have designs and functions. Boy, and I think Kyle did all that too. I think he boarded all of it. Just hmm, horrible amount of work. Great effect. That effect was funny with Gur, Gur floating around. I think Phil Lamar played the head baby. Phil Lamar being one of the actors uh, from uh, Mad TV. I don't know if he's done anything else since. I, I haven't seen him around. Or I think Mad TV's still on, in fact. At least at this time in late 2002. Great dialogue. <laughs> Schnooky. <laughs> it's funny, they all look like Rob Hummel. This is basically an army of Rob Hummels come to Earth. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Rob was a really good script writer. I, I really liked what he did with scripts. Um, 
I think he was a little bit maligned well while working on the show. But uh Yeah, I found this sort of stuff really charming and it was well executed too. Yeah, I look at some of these sequences like this, just funny little things. <laughs> I'm surprised that none of this ever caught on. No, nobody was ever charmed by this or thought any of this was amusing. You know, just a small, uh, just a small cult following like this stuff. You have to sort of think, though, on the backstory. You know, the Nargok ship came by and beamed up these other babies. You know, what were they thinking? I mean, they must have known after a while that these weren't their uh, their commanders. Why didn't they come back for these guys? Uh, you know, there must be a backstory that these guys were left to be abandoned, or you know, something went on. Nicely colored interior of this elevator. I like that it was this bright white light. Boy, there's so much going on suddenly in this show. It becomes quite a hassle. This was a uh, this was this whole action sequence was fought over uh, the timers, the overseas people, the executives, Joan, and everybody hated it. Nobody wanted any of this action sequence. Claimed it was too hard, nobody could animate it, none of it would work. And although it's not our greatest action sequence, I said, this will work, this is fine, this, you know, it'll do okay. And it was, it was animated. A lot more work than they should have been doing overseas, so the animation wasn't as good, but, uh, you know, it worked out. I don't think anything's uh, that mistakable of what's going on in this this whole sequence. And the alternative to what we could put in there really was uh, nothing, so. I don't know what all the argument was about. More waste of time, a lot of meetings over this sort of stuff. Could have spent time working on these sequences, getting people in gear. Great little bypacks. Uh, Kyle was always into bypacks. He'd do these uh, separated shops, shots where the foreground and the background uh, moved at different rates, and you'd have to shoot them separately and then combine them in post with the chroma color process. Um, he always handled them quite well. Other people had too much movement going on. It's quite an art form to get it to move properly and convincingly. Boy, this, this Giganto baby it was such a complex design at first. I thought it wouldn't work. I thought that would be hell. And originally I think we had a lot more. It was actually like fully designed babies attached together. And I said, no, we have to simplify it out a bit. So you just see bits and pieces of babies here and there. <laughs> it was really fun. It's nice seeing like, you know, the baby's bottom, you know, down to the feet. You know, there's a baby's lower half sticking out with your toes, two-pronged uh, foot. Oof, this whole sequence, one incomplete scene here just going on and on. Very, very difficult to do. 